Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. So Sebastian and I, my son, have been working this afternoon on putting together a new mod for EU4. Some of you may remember I made a mod called Keyboard Shortcuts and Interface Adjust for Crusader Kings 2. And this is basically the same mod for EU4. Now it is in its infancy, um, so to speak. It's, it's a very minor mod at this point, but I think it makes a big difference so far. As you can see, we're on patch 1.5.1 and the checksum is 0EF1. This mod does not alter the checksum, so you can play on Iron Man mode with it. And so let's load up as France and I'll show you what it does. Sebastian is, is very excited that we're finished working on this. He's being very quiet right now. I guess he's a little shy when I'm talking. I guess he's listening to me. But um, so what I've done is there's, there's going to be two description um, links for this mod. One is the standalone keyboard shortcuts mod, and then the other is going to be keyboard shortcuts plus the bigger diplomacy view mod. I did not create bigger diplomacy view. I just spliced it together. They modify some of the same files, so if you tried loading them separately, it would not work. Um, because I like this mod, the bigger diplomacy view, I decided to splice them together. What that one does, by the way, is just make sure that some of the bigger diplomacy options, where there's lots of items, are it's always it's extended all the way down to the bottom of the screen. So if you're playing in 1080p, like I usually do, that's 1920 by 1080 then it makes this all the way down to the bottom so you can see more stuff. You know, bigger decisions list, bigger diplomacy list. If we're talking to another country, we can expand these out and see lots of options. So what the Keyboard Shortcuts mod does so far, just like in Crusader Kings 2, is it makes it so that if you have a decision to make, the Z key will press cancel and the C key will press send. So Z to cancel, C to confirm. So, for instance, what this will help you out with is, let's say you're in the opinion map mode, and, um, you know, I see that I'm France, England's obviously my enemy, Scotland and Castile. Well, actually, Castile's rivaled us in this case, but Scotland is a natural ally, so let's go ahead and go to improve relation. Normally, you'd have to click send, or you could just press C. Game's going to autosave. Go from there. Um, who else do we want to make an ally? Maybe Austria or Hungary. Austria, or sorry, Hungary is friendly, so we could do royal marriage, send. You can see that it doesn't add a huge amount of um, functionality to the game, but it really will add up in the long run. Over a, a few hundred hour campaign, not having to move your mouse halfway across the screen every time will add up. Now on top of that, let's say you have an event dialog that pops up, like a decision or something. Um, say for example the disband unit button. This one pops up, Z will press cancel, C will press OK. So we can press Z to cancel and go from there. If we let some time pass, maybe something will pop up. We can do this here, offer alliance, we can accept. Etc, etc. And so that's pretty much the mod. Um, it's in its infancy. Most of the keyboard shortcuts that EU4 came out with were pretty great. You know, the split unit button, the group up button, etc. So if you have any suggestions for additions to the mod, please let me know and I'll consider including them in the next version. And uh, Sebastian and I are going to go get some milk. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon.